This lettuce is growing on rows of plastic pipes that circulate water. Mwamvua Mlangwa, the largest hydroponics farmer in Tanzania, learned about this soilless, eco-friendly farming method on a trip to Israel. She says the lack of knowledge on smart hydroponics for many in the country has made financing her four-year-old vegetable farm difficult. I tried to source funds from the existing banks. By the time they didn't know what I'm talking about, because there's nobody, there was nobody doing hydroponic in Tanzania, so I had to use my own funds. Mwami grows her vegetables on half an acre of land using fertilizer that dissolves in water, which is then recycled. She says with the assistance of a mobile app, a small space can yield up to 500% more than ordinary farms, while reducing water usage by 90%. There's some app which you can download to control the the nutrients which are coming on the on the on the on the on the on the plants so you can do that when you see the nutrients are lower once you are connected to the internet that uh, app can tell you that like, the nutrients are lower then you can come and add the nutrients although global adoption rates for hydroponics are on the rise mwami says the country's adoption rate is still very low to remedy that she has begun passing her knowledge on the subject to university students studying agriculture. The United Nations projects that the global population will reach 10 billion people by 2050, with roughly 83 million people added to the world's population each year until then. With less farming land available, hydroponics might just be the way to meet the world's growing food needs. Tanzania's over-dependence on rain-fed agriculture often leads to low, unreliable and inconsistent productivity in the agricultural sector. With the potential use of less farmland, the government is looking to use methods like hydroponics to boost productivity. What are we getting? Productivity is not about how many hours we spend working, not just about farm implements. It's also about the area you use to farm and what we have harvested. Mwami sells her produce to major hotels, supermarkets and restaurants in the country. She's hoping that this soilless method of farming will grow to become the norm for farmers and urban dwellers across Tanzania.